When I was five years old, I asked my dad, Dad, can you buy me a Barbie? I, I still remember his reaction. He was so disappointed. He told me, why you need the Barbie? I mean, it's for girls. And I told him, listen, this is what I want. I want Barbie. So after he came back from his walk home, he bought me a Barbie. And I was so happy. And he saw me. He saw how happy I am. And even though he was so disappointed from my choices, he still he was still so happy to see me happy. And I remember when I was 13 years old, I just started my life as a teenager. And you know what happened when you're starting to be a teenager, you started to think about sex. And I remember that I started to think about boys in a sexual way. And I was so stressful about this. I mean, why I'm thinking about boys? This is not the nature. I, I, I shouldn't think about them. No way. I'm not going to think about them anymore. And I was like, no, 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 no. Leave it, leave it, leave it. I felt so wrong that I'm doing something wrong in my mind. But you know, I couldn't do anything about that. And then when I was almost 16 years old, I met a, a man in, you know, my first sex. And after my first sex, I felt like I'm doing something so bad and I will go to hell and I need to stop doing it. And I was like, I'm not going to tell anyone. And I moved on and I met other guys, but I tried to to hide it from my mind, to forget about those meetings, like it's never happened. And actually I felt like it's never happened. Like when I met someone, I met him. Okay, I did what I did. I came back home, whatever, like I deleted it for my mind. And then I was 18 and you know, in Israel you need to go to the army. And I remember my first day in the army, I understood that I need to go and having shower with the other soldiers. And when I had this situation with them, I felt okay. I didn't feel that I'm attracting to someone there. So I felt like, okay, I'm fine. Maybe I'm not attracting to men. Maybe it's just a stupid thing and I'm not going to think about it anymore. But you know, again, this is my nature. And I met someone for sex when I was almost 19. I felt that... I want him more than the sex and then I was scared I was like oh shit it's not a sexual thing it's more than that I was like wow maybe I'm I'm actually gay and I was so scared and I felt that this is so wrong so I decided to tell my best friend and I told him listen I feel that something wrong about me and I'm attracting to men and I told him I'm attracting to men and women you know, you don't really want to recognize the fact that you are gay. So you're just saying it in this way. So he told me, you know what? I have the same feeling. I'm attracting to men. And I felt so relieved, you, you know, because finally I had someone to talk about this situation, to share with me my thoughts, my feeling. And I started to feel comfortable with, with myself. So I decided to tell to other friends for my village. And she, her reaction was amazing. She was like, oh, and I thought you're a virgin. She told me, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Finally, you are, you can be yourself. And you know, it, it makes me feel even more closer to my friends because they really saw me, saw it done 100%. So I, I felt finally that I can be myself around them. And I remember that I found someone on the internet it was so sweet and we decided to have a date and actually it was my first date and I was really expected for this meeting with him it was on Friday and same day on Friday before the meeting before the date I had dinner with my parents my sister was uh, abroad in the US and they told me hey Dan what are you doing tonight it's a weekend and I told them I'm going with uh, some friends and my, my mom asked, and who is going to bring car, you know, because it's a village, you need car. And I told her, I'm going to take the car. 
and she started to say why you need to take the car i mean why not them you all the time taking the car and then i realized that i'm lying and i never lied to my mom you know and uh, it was so weird so i started to be red and she told me why you are red what happened to you now imagine um since i started to understand that i'm gay i felt uncomfortable with my parents because i'm hiding something from them so i was a little bit rude and i didn't want to talk with them a lot back then so my mom really felt that and she asked me what happened to you in the last month you are acting so weird you are so far away from me and i don't know what happened to you then i became even more and more red and she told me dan what happened to you tell me tell me share with me i will understand everything and my dad was there too i told her um maybe you have a gay son <laughs> i i remember the situation like a movie as i said and my mom was like okay and why you think that you are gay and i started to explain her all my process all all the things that happened and my dad just started to realize what's going on around him and he was started to be really stressed and we thought that he's leaving the kitchen maybe going to his room or something but then he came to me and i was in shock also my mom and he started to he started to hug me and I was in shock. He started to tell me that he loves me anyway, that I'm his son, and it doesn't matter if I'm gay or not. He really appreciated the fact that I told him the truth, and he loves me even more. And my mom started to cry, and I was in shock. And I also started to cry, and he was crying, like really, really crying. I never saw my my father like in this like this situation. After years that I felt like I'm hiding something, that something wrong with me, I was out, and I felt free. I felt that everyone, like, can see the real Idan, one hundred percent Idan. When we are feeling this relief, like, wow, I'm free. Our parents just starting the process that we've been through. You know, they are starting to be in their closet because now they need to face with the fact that their son is gay. they need to tell their um friends their parents and so we need to be patient we need to let them having this process understand what's the meaning of being gay because you know they th- they are thinking about the worst scenarios they thought that maybe I'm not going to have kids and of course I'm going to have kids you know I want kids I will have kids for sure yeah they thought that I'm not going to get married they thought that I'm ruining my life because I'm gay but then when they when they started their process they started to read things and articles they really understand what is what's the meaning of being gay and they feel better and better and better and they saw me happy and that's the most important thing i was happy and i'm still happy you know i'm openly gay and i'm happy i'm doing what i want in my life i'm i have an amazing life i have a, an amazing friends and parents and i know that i have a supporting environment but there's other people that that their parents are not accepting them also their friends but in the end of the day this is our life and we need to live our life as we want we are all deserves to be happy and i have to tell you that there is a whole community out there community that been in this process and they can understand your feeling they can support you they can help you feel better with yourself so i'm inviting you to share your story on moves up just hashtag coming out on the life feed of moves moments uh, by sharing your story maybe you are changing someone else's life you're helping other people to deal with their situation thank you for watching and listening to my story i love you guys